Hi. Uh, now we will see uh, uh, surface uh, rock toolpath and pocket toolpath. Uh, uh, other two toolpath contour and rest mill is still uh, pending. Uh, so after seeing the pocket toolpath, we will see the um, uh, other two toolpath. Okay. So the pocket toolpath is the best to toolpath. Uh, you can you can do any roughing operation by only by using this toolpath. Uh, earlier whatever toolpath we have seen parallel, uh, flow line, radial, uh, uh, project. This all toolpath is uh, for particular application or particular situation. Uh, these are all the uh, situation based roughing toolpath. But uh, one toolpath, this uh, pocket toolpath is a versatile toolpath. Wherever you want, you can utilize this toolpath to remove unwanted material. By only uh, this toolpath, uh, any, any type of uh, job you can rough out. Uh, so this toolpath uh, will remove the material uh, best efficient way when compared to any other uh, uh, rough toolpath. So now uh, we should have done one more work that is uh, job setting and analyzing the model all the things we should do. So first we will uh, so we will we'll make this uh, stock bonding box. I just extend this uh, raw material size little more 100, 100 and approximate size I have made. So if you want a wireframe color, so all wireframe, right click thickness I modify, even color also I will modify, color I will change it to uh, blue color. Okay. Now uh, rough uh, raw material I just defined. So from this uh, raw material, unnecessary materials we are going to remove and we will bring the model. Okay, now we are going to set zero setting. I selected all uh, entity and I selected at the corner. So move to origin option I used. So it went to the zero setting. Now my uh, uh, job is set in the first quadrant x0, y0, z0 is on the corner. Okay, this is how you can set your job x0, y0, z0. Okay, so this is the job setting. Okay, now uh, whatever uh, zero here you are making, the same zero has to be uh, done in the machine. Okay, so master cam zero and machine zero should be on the a uh, same place of the workpiece. Okay. So now we will go for stock definition. I again I will say bonding box. Automatically it will take uh, all the sizes. Okay. Okay. So stock also we defined. So next I uh, need to go for the toolpath. Right click toolpath, uh, rough pocket. Uh, some error has come. Okay. Now, now it is asking uh, select this surface or solid, dry surface or solid. So I need to select entire thing so I can say select by window and selection. So it will not allow a check surface to select in this particular option pocket toolpath. So then uh, we can go for containment boundary. Containment boundary. It means that uh, the tool will not go out of this uh, boundary. So it will work inside the boundary. So for pocket toolpath the boundary is very important. If you have a stock a start point you can give it otherwise say yes.
but uh, actually i should have done one work i should have analyzed my model uh, what is the minimum cutter diameter need uh, so for whatever you have seen uh, we have not come across the internal corner radius but in this model there is a internal corner radius is available so we should use the right tool so what is the minimum cutter you can use in this uh, uh, particular uh, model okay there are two type of uh, checking the corner radius analyze corner radius so you can put curvature there is option available so in the analyze command it is analyze dynamic also available so you can select the dynamic and select that uh, internal curvature you will see that uh, it is uh, so so around 7.9 is the diameter wherever the internal die is there just you can click and check it what is the radius okay outward radius uh, doesn't have uh, any role here because uh, uh, the tool will roll over that outward radius only thing you need to see is uh, internal radius so based on that you can select the uh, surface finish tool diameter you can decide based on this radius uh, for a small model you can use the uh, uh, analyze dynamic and you can check everywhere that wherever the internal radius are there what is a minimum cutter you need to use that you can understand suppose uh, the model is so big uh, every place i cannot check the what is minimum radius in that situation you can comes to curvature analysis uh you can see radius less than um suppose now now we'll give a big radius pi less than pi okay okay now we'll see now first and radius less than pi okay so if uh, 10 mm less than 5 means 10 mm diameter so if you use 10 mm cutter where are the material it leaves you can see you can see that uh, uh, red wherever the red is there their material it will leave okay so if you use 10 mm cutter it leaves a material over there suppose so uh, we will give a correct diameter suppose if i use 4 mm cutter means means 8, 8 mm cutter also it will use the material so 3 mm cutter if i use means 6 mm cutter if i use means okay so it clears outer 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 radius external radius you leave it only you concentrate on the internal radius so any internal radius is let red then no so it means that your minimum tool diameter is a 6 mm dia tool if you select a 6 mm dia tool uh, it will very clearly machine this model so this is for the finishing this is for the finishing ok uh, the tool diameter whatever you are finding here it is for the finishing tool ok not for the you can check your model analysis by check solid uh, one more test is there that is a draft analysis i think it may be here in the draft analysis so you can check the model uh, if there is any uh, negative draft in the model so any surface having a negative draft you can you can uh, easily understand because in three axis you cannot uh, machine the negative uh, uh, draft surface okay that you can uh, understand by the um, so now now whatever what is we are seeing is uh, how to analyze a model a model is given to you what are all the things you will check uh, before going for machining 
okay so now we we'll, uh, if there is a negative overdraft you have two option one is either you can go for a fire access machine for machining it or otherwise you can change the uh, second setting and uh, making a new fixture and you can do it now vertical surface is look in green color uh, negative surface will see in the red color this is the color uh, representation okay so now i will just click uh, check okay now uh, in this model no red color but bottom is the negative naturally no so all other are positive surface so uh, this model is uh, no negative surface okay so this model is uh, suitable for uh, pre access machine okay in case the model has red means uh, red color means it has got the negative draft okay here uh, their machining is not possible Uh, so now I uh, so you can uh, you can machine the negative draft by uh, changing the holding direction or uh, uh, those things we can analyze and understand from here. Um, so far, what we have seen is. Uh, one solid model or surface model comes to you how do you check the model is uh, suitable for machining so uh, now this is solid model we have, we have checked so for solid there is a option called check solid in case of uh, surface means there is option available for check surface okay so there is option called a test surface there is option called test surface if it is solid model you can use uh, check solid if it is a surface model you can use uh, test solid so these are the uh, analyzing the surface uh, model so when is small surface anything then it will show here but i do not have the surface model but i cannot check it if you want uh, we can convert this solid model into the surface model and analyze and show you go to surface from solid i will select all model okay this all surface alter e so this is the surface model i think i have not selected entire model okay only machining area is selected okay so now now we can go and analyze uh analyze test surface so now you can switch on or select the entire model accept so if any issues are there it will tell you there are there are zero small surfaces sometimes no the small surfaces will uh, will hide inside the uh, model but uh, the tool will directly go and try to machine there there may be chances of uh, goj so that's reason it need to be checked there is no problem detected uh, trimmed surfaces okay 
uh, zero bad surface. If there is any bad surfaces, it will tell you. Okay. So, so like this, uh, you can analyze the surface model in this way. Uh, before job setting or after job setting, zero setting, uh, you can you can you can check the model is suitable for uh, machining. Uh, it is very important. Uh, 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 suppose uh, you have taken uh, unsuitable model for uh, machining, and after tool path you will come across so many problems. So it is better you analyze the model. Um, before uh, starting your work, unless the model is uh, good, uh, if you check if it is solid means uh, check solid, you do it, and surface means you test surface, you do it. The second test is minimum cutter radius, and third check is whether there is a negative trapped. So if this all three are okay, then you can uh, make zero setting and just start for the machining. Okay, uh, so far whatever uh, we have seen is uh, how to analyze the model for its suitability for machining. Okay, so thank you.